Lauren, can you tell me in as much detail as possible about the design that you created within the makeup unit? Uh, I did an Uncle Humper because it's from a musical and it had to be based on a musical. And um, I had to, use, like, do you want to know what I had to use? And things yeah, like of that. course, as much detail as possible. Uh, I had to use, um, well, when I experimented, I used a uh, orange Stazaroo, which is like a face paint, and uh, it stained like the skin. Just, it didn't stay in like for long, just like an hour or something like that. And uh, so I had to like obviously think about what else I could do. So I put a, uh, a base of foundation on and then put um, the Sazeru on that foundation so it didn't stain as much. It still has a bit of like hint to it, but it's not full on stain. And then I had to highlight the cheeks because Uncle Lumpers are like quite fat and quite plump. So I had to highlight the cheeks so that um, their face would look bigger. So, yeah, and I was going to put fake eyelashes on to make the eyelashes stand out, but she already had long eyelashes, so I didn't really need to do that. And I used white Sazaru for the eyebrows, because she had dark eyebrows, and then I put that on the lips as well. So in terms of preparation for your design, um, did you do any research at all, any trial runs? Well, I did, like... I did trial runs on different things though, so I, th I think I did about two trial runs maybe, but on different like things. And uh, the research wise, I just got like pictures and things like that, but each picture was different. So, so like, I had to like get what they look like in the musical, and then get what they look like in the film, and then get what they look like, and it's just like I'd say if you go to a party. So it was kind of hard like getting all them and like putting it all together, because some have green hair, some have brown hair, it's just confusing. <laughs> Um, can you tell me how you feel you worked throughout the process? So, could you please make some comments about your focus and your ability to work independently as well? Uh, I was focused sometimes, um, but like, I knew what I needed to do and I knew like things like that and I can work on my own. So, how did I you find working in... Because up to now, most of the units... Um, we've been working collaboratively yeah. with your peers. Yeah. This one was sort of your own project. How's that felt? I kind of like it though, because like you're not getting like say you're not getting distracting other people's problems. So you, like say if you're on the computer on your own, you can just shove your headphones in and get on with it. So I find it easy in a way. Can you give me an example of how you've shown commitment within the process? What do you mean? So how you've been committed to your independent work and your design and bringing that to life. Just because you know that it's got to be done, really. So if I know that it's got to be done, then I've got to do it. <laughs> Can you give me an example, though? Uh, maybe an activity you've taken part in independently or as a group or... I don't know. <laughs> it's okay if you can't. can't. Yeah, that's fine. Um, looking at the process as a whole, what would you do differently if you were given another chance? I probably wouldn't go for another one, because like, other people have gone for more complicated things. and like, When I did mine, I didn't really have that to do. Like I would done within like five minutes, something like that. So in a way it was easier, but I feel like I could have been careful of doing more. Any other comments you want to make about the unit or your work? No. <laughs> Thank you very much.